guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. I've had the musical Fidelity X10D running in now for a couple of days. Well, I'd say around about 40 hours. Now, tubes tend to take around 50 to 100 hours to, to run into their maximum, really. So this is sort of like a preview video, really. Of my thoughts on how the musical Fidelity X10D sounds now after the upgrades that I've done to it. So I listened to this X10D with the standard power supply that it had. And in its basic state how it was purchased in around about 1996. And to be totally honest with you, I didn't find it did anything to the sound at all. So, but what I have done is I've done a whole new kit. If you haven't seen this video, check the last video or the last one before that. I, I'll put a link to it under this video. Um, and I've had it added a upgrade power supply, which is this here. The little pinky se now this has made a big improvement to the sound of how it sounds now compared to what it did before before it did nothing to the sound at all now there's there's several reasons for that um a lot of the uh components inside this were old and needed updating and what i've updated them with is a lot better quality than what it was originally even when it was new and the upgrade power supply totally different kettle of fish to the standard power supply um i haven't put an upgrade power cable power cord on it yet i'm just using a standard power cord so i've still got further to go with this plus there's a fuse upgrade that i can do in the power supply so um, it, it could go, it's going to go even further than it is at the moment. <clears throat> Again, I've been running this in with this disc. It's a fabulous disc and you probably can hear it in the background hissing away. Now, tubes don't actually need sound to go through them to, to run in. They can just be left on, but I always think it's better to have sound going through them as well. So again, I listened to these two discs before I did the upgrade. Um, the Melody Gardo, my one and only thrill, which is one of my favourite albums. And Dusty in Memphis. There's no doubt about it that this has added more warmth to the sound of a compact disc. Now, I always find a compact disc to be slightly edgy sounding to me. Um, almost too clinical. And this has give it that analog feel to the sound. Another thing I found, which I was quite surprised by, was the sound has become more holographic. It's really weird. Now, I wouldn't expect that to happen, but it has. It's not, bear in mind, this isn't vast amounts. This is sort of, it's slightly better than subtle, but it really has give you that depth again. I mean, I keep saying this, all these upgrades are giving me more and more of everything. And uh, this has just done it slightly. Again, it's it's definitely made it more holographic sounding. Especially on the Dusty in Memphis. You can hear her singing and it's quite... Got loads of depth to it. She she seems to be quite a way very deep into the, into the sound stage. So I would definitely say now that playing a CD for me has become a lot more enjoyable. Um, is it the same sound as a vinyl LP? Probably not, 
but it's closer than it was before. But the difference is, is it doesn't have any background noise. And another thing that I have noticed as well, and it's notice, noticeable. Now, when I've done the upgrade to the quad, the, 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 the noise floor um, become a lot more quieter. And this has actually done it again. It, it, it's, it's made it even more quieter. quieter. Um, although subtle, but it's definitely, definitely improved it. So I've probably got around about another 50 hours of running this in. Um, until all the components. It may take a bit longer than that. I shall just leave it going for another three or four days. Just nipping in a bit with a, a disc just to listen to it. Now, I can't play the... SACD through this because this is connected to my DAC and my DAC won't play SACD for it due to Sony the way that they they produced it originally and um, but what I can play for it is normal CD which goes through the DAC and it comes out and to be honest with you a majority of my digital is a standard red book CD I have a fair few SACDs but I always find that they sound a bit more analog sounding anyway, opposed to a CD that doesn't. I'll be making an upgrade power cord for this very soon. I probably won't do a video on it because you, I've got videos already on power cords. And I shall make a nice power cord for it. Um, put a, a nice fuse in the mains plug and in the actual power supply unit as well has this made a difference after upgrading it i would say most definitely it has obviously we're using better parts again and the better the part the better the sound in my opinion it doesn't have to be really expensive you can do your research and um the guy that made the kit for the Musical Fidelity X10D, he doesn't like boutique parts. So what he's done is he's picked out parts that he feels are the best. And some of you will love this. I like boutique parts myself. I think there's a reason why things are expensive. And they're not always because it's a rip-off. I and mean, some of you may disagree, but I'm... It's like anything. It's, it, it, it's like you buy an... Uh, in a Fiat, and then and then comparing it to a BMW, yeah, the BMW is, is double the money, or a Mercedes, or or a a Rolls Royce. It's uh, it's expensive for a reason because it is better. Now you don't hear people saying, "Don't buy a Rolls Royce because it's snake oil," do you? But you do, you do hear people say that about, you know, boutique. Uh, capacitors, inductors, you know, uh, resistors, and it, 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 I don't know, it makes me wonder um, why they say it, because things are, I mean, when you buy an expensive piece of equipment, it's always going to have better parts in it, and that's why people upgrade, they go from a cheaper part, they start on a budget when they get in the hi-fi, they might buy an amplifier for £300, and then eventually they want to upgrade, because they've got that upgrade bug like the rest of us. And they haven't got the capability to upgrade the internals themselves. So then they go back and they, they go to their dealer. Or, or they do some research and look at reviews. And they think, I want to buy an amplifier for £4,000. Now, why would, they, why would they do that? That's the thing. It, it, it's because... The internal parts, it's not just about the quality, it's to do with the design work of the internal parts as well. But so you could design an amplifier with internal parts, um, with cheap parts, and uh, and design it really well, and it would sound good. But if you were then to take those cheap parts and replace them with real quality parts, it would sound even better. It, there's no doubt about it, it would. So... Um, all in all, I'm really happy with how the upgrade 
to the musical Fidelity X10D has gone. Um, obviously, I've still got some more running time to go, and there's an upgrade power cord plus a few fuses that can take it to even another level. But I'll keep you informed on all that. So it's only a quick video today. It's a sort of preliminary thoughts on how how this is sounding. As I said, I'll keep the uh, the running discs, the burning disc, going for another couple of days, and then I shall check back and let you know on a community post probably how it's uh, how it's all gone. So I hope you like this video. I'll leave a description for the uh, a link I should say for the for how I upgraded this in the comments below. So thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching, guys.